Alright! Welcome back everybody to Imperial Galactic Survival! I'm Noah at all DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great hanging out with Frag a lot. How you doing, Frag? I'm doing good today. That's good. So uh Cap's not joining us today. He's uh, a little under the weather. And uh so we're gonna be going on and doing stuff. We're gonna leave his uh work pod here and uh then uh, we're going to actually head up into space and start building the space station. Now, off camera, I've gone ahead and I've prepared a lot of the stuff for this uh, for this all this uh, space base. Um, I've got a lot of concrete. I've got a lot of devices and such. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead, get it put together, and see what I come up with. And uh, Frag, I don't know exactly what all you'll be doing. Probably going down looking for stuff and uh, possibly. I could spin Mars out in space, or hit the moon. Yeah, um, and then whenever you come back and put stuff at the base, you can just you know give me comments on what you think of the design and give me ideas. So um, yeah. So I went ahead, I made the uh, Mobile 3 into a small vessel. Um, I was going to see if Frag and Cap noticed that, and Frag noticed it like right away. So he's like, wait, this isn't a hover vessel. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and head into space and uh, yeah, start working on this space station. We should leave a sign for to tell Cap what to do when he gets back on. <laughs> uh, or, or we can just tell him on Discord, you know. It's, <laughs> it, it's easier than setting up a sign that he can actually read that's, you know. Because in this game, there's no signs you can just place down and mark on. You see, that's what I liked about <laughs> Ark. That's one thing that I like about Ark is that you could just put a sign down somewhere, right on it, and say, hey, this is it. But in this game, what you need, you need at the very least a hover vessel base with a generator and fuel tank and an LCD light. Yep. So does he get paid sick leave for not being here? Uh, no. <laughs> All right. I will try to follow you unless you want to, when you find a place to, to, to put the, do you have a starter made already? Oh yeah, I've got the starter made. I've got, you know, like I said, a bunch of pieces and such. So I'm thinking we should put it about halfway between the planet and the moon. 6,000 meters. Is it 6,000 or is it 3,000? Is usually the, the buffer area where you find all the resources. Yeah, which is about the same uh, as around as as what a uh, ring would be. Ooh, I see a ship already. Yep, that's a Polaris freighter. Don't mess with us then. Right, because uh, neither would the Xerax, because the Xerax and Polaris are both you know the the Xerax are honored with us now. So. <laughs> so if the Talon ever get space worthy, they all start attacking us. All right, so we are about 3,000 from the planet. It's over 25 right now. I'm thinking right over here, right outside of this little asteroid field is where we ought to set up. right about here is probably where it's going to switch over saying we're getting closer to the moon than the planet if it still does that yeah right here oh yeah it does that which is a different play field right uh well the uh the this whole the space area is all one play field it just says you're closer to whichever body you're closest to so if there was two moons and the planet it would say whichever moon you're closest to when it has the meters located so right about here is probably where we want to set up all right you now, can line up to the sun uh 
Yes, I am actually. Uh, I need to go ahead and put my spacesuit on. Wait, that's not my spacesuit. That's my spacesuit. Um, I'm using a uh, a worn out light armor as my spacesuit. So. <laughs> Oh, I put on my heavy armor because my light armor was worn out. Well, think about this, right? If your light armor has no integrity, putting a spacesuit on it does nothing because putting a spacesuit on it gets rid of the armor anyway of a light armor. So turning an old worn out light armor into a spacesuit makes you use less resources like food and such when you're in space. Right, right. I didn't think about that. Yeah, because it says negative 150. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like it's not like the the armor that the small one has, the light armor is going to get into the negative. Right, because you can't get negative durability on your Now, it'd be funny if if your armor actually got destroyed off of you, but it doesn't. So I'm surprised it doesn't do that. They should do that. All right, so I'm actually going to link to the box on here and start the, the yellow one. Yeah, uh, the long green one, which is the one that has all the stuff in it. Oh, uh, OK. And I'm going to start working from here. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to start with the sort of engineering section, which is where the core and the all the uh, Power capacitors and stuff is going to be so. Is it going to be purely solar powered? Yep, it should be. Yeah, and I just remembered that you, your constructor was still building ammo for me. I got it. Yep. Okay, so I'm angled and create a new base. Although the new base still looks like a green core thing for me for some reason. Did it place the core down yeah. for you? I see it right here. Okay, because it still has the green thing around it for some reason for me. Green thing around it? You know, like when you're, your... when you're setting up the base, it doesn't have a core there, but yet it's there with the green thing saying you can place here or it's surrounded in red saying you can't. That's what it looks oh, the, like to the, me. the square or the, the yeah. cube outline. Yeah, it's, got the, it's still got the cube outline and I can just go right through it. I actually see the bear core here. Um, I'm going to log out and back in and see if it's still there. All right. I'm used to the days where it still had the, the eight pieces of blocks around. Oh, well, cores, I don't think, had that since the Alpha 1, but... Base the, cores had it. Yeah, all actually all droppables had I know that capital for, vessels, uh, hover vessels, and small vessels did, but for the longest time, as long as I can remember, base cores always were just a core. I remember it having the, the other extra blocks on it for base core. It just didn't have an arrow pointing to which way is forward. Okay, there's the core. The core is there, so... Are you still linked to the ship? To the box? Yes, I'm still linked to it, but everything I had in my thing got all rejumbled up here. Oh, the oh, hot bar, the yellow hot. Yeah. Um, okay, there's the wireless connector and the four. Where is your Where is your O2 dispenser? Oh, there it is. I see it. Just, just so I know where it is, because mine doesn't have one. Yeah, it, I, I put that down here below the. Uh, Thing. Yeah, but blow the constructor. Uh, let me turn off lights so we get rid of all the blinky lights. Okay, uh, give me also, uh, I'm going to want some regular steel blocks. Just start making up regular steel blocks, Mr. Constructor. Because I like using regular steel blocks as the connectors between my engineering pieces.
Uh, it says, oh, hold on. For some reason, when you're in uh, mirror mode, even if you only have one, uh, one uh, panel left to place, and you have 14 of them down it says you can only place four or only place 15 of these currently equipped for currently uh added on 14. it's telling me that it wants to put two of them because it's mirroring yeah. it it's weird even in the center is it still doing that bug where you put it in the center it puts two down yeah sometimes um i i haven't seen that a lot lately but i know in uh in creative mode it does that a lot still Okay, sharing what I just found. Really want to find some cobalt, but I can go to the moon and do that, I guess. What color should I make these uh, solar panels? Uh, purple. Okay, purple is usually cha reserved for the warp drive because that's the color of the warp drive thing, but that'll work. Yeah, but at the base, there's no warp. True. Usually I use like gold for my power systems, but I figure we'll, we'll do something different this time. I'm coming in, see what you've done. Right now, I'm uh, working on the, uh, okay, I can't change that one, but I can, hmm, I don't know, Th this will be fine, let me, I wanted to make try to make these all line up right but I'll probably end up just uh, retexturing them. That looks good. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, we're getting solar started joining in fact, we could turn it, turn on the base right now if we wanted, because this is strange. These two aren't lit up. Which two? There's another one. There's three here on the bottom. I don't know where you went. Oh. Uh, I'm. They, they all look lit up to me. There's three of them that aren't. They have no lights on them. Oh, actually, the ones on the whole top aren't lit up. That's weird. They I all, guess it's. They're all lit up to me, so. Probably if you logged out them back in, it would uh, fix that.
All right, so we got the solar power system going. Yep, I see it's on now. Well, yeah. Yeah, it does. It, it only used one block when I put that one block down there, so it's only using one block in the middle now. I don't know if uh, if that's for everything or if that's just for the blocks and devices try to duplicate like they did in the past. going to take my mobile three and I'm actually going to head to the moon and see if I can get some more crushed stone and such. Yeah, look for cobalt. Entering, entering Polaris territory. You know, I started a new game uh, last night and those those POIs that just had the turrets on them they're coming up now in the HUD as a really yeah now you're talking about the Polaris ones yeah the Polaris ones that maybe the I didn't notice it on the on the but the little towers were coming up on uh Polaris. They may have extended the uh, the sight range of those from zero to something. So 